something a little different here. I was worried that having Maud move to Ponyville, or Ponyville adjacent, was an excuse to have her appear more frequently. I mean, the irregularity of Maud's appearances is part of what makes them special. Fortunately, by now, it's clear that injecting Maud into more episodes wasn't the staff's intention, but I was expecting some follow-up. She only appeared in one other Season 7 episode, and frankly, her part was rather forced. Amusing, but not quite as believable as Twilight's and Trixie's involvement. I'm thinking Starlight could have brought Trixie and Maud to the Changeling Hive and to change a Changeling. Putting aside the skyscraper hard-ons that give the Trixie Maud shippers, some lines in the episode could certainly be appropriately allocated to Maud. We wanted to surprise you! Surprise? Pharynx is missing! <laughs> Wait for it. And there are a few alterations that'd most likely get a laugh. Teleportation spell go! Did I see this? I can't tell, I can't see anything. And she sort of knows what being an outsider feels like, because hardly any pony knows what to say or do when they see, meet, or hear her, but she's learned not to let that bother her. Obviously giving her a few lines isn't very substantial, but Trixie didn't do a lot in the episode apart from make an ass of herself and back the bus over Starlight a few times. For the most part, she's just there for Starlight to set up the star-nosed mole and to think out loud to, so I see no reason for her not to bring Maud along as well. I can hear a lot of you saying, perhaps Maud could be the one to deliver the epic speech to Thorax subjects, albeit with her usual enthusiasmless tone maybe pulling a confident smile at the end. That would be entertaining, but my favorite thing about Starlight is her gift of gab, and I'd rather not take that away from her. But I don't think calling Pharynx a lost cause is something Maud would say. Although, it might not be out of character for a certain little fellow who resides in Maud's pocket. Maud could say, Boulder says Pharynx might be a lost cause. And at the end, Maud says, I knew you had it in you. And Pharynx says, Really? Because I thought you said I was a lost cause and you were going to tell Thorax he should kick me out. And when everyone shoots her a look, Maud says, I didn't say that, Boulder did. And here's a final suggestion. When Thorax says, Let's talk about how you not only led the Mawarf to the Hive, but also drove my brother away from it. Maud can say, Okay. And while we're at it, let's talk about how if the rogue changeling who was terrorizing the kingdom, dumping black paint on your subjects, and vandalizing the hive wasn't your brother, you wouldn't have bothered to go after him. If he wasn't my brother, I don't think I'd be here. And they have a quick stare down before Pharynx recounts the tale of the time he made Thorax hit himself. As I said before, I know what if scenarios don't really matter in the grand scheme of things, and anyone can be clever with hindsight, but I love exploring story potential, whether I enjoy how it turned out or not. I'm Brass Polish, thanks for watching, and I'm not going to stay like this. I just promised Tricky Fox I'd be a sea lion in a vid after reaching 200 subs.